G'day guys, Sam here again and today I'm going to run through two new trailers in the Quintrex trailer range. We've got the 1100 here and the 1298 behind me. So we'll jump in and run through some of the features. We've got our alloy frame here which is 5mm thick, I-beam construction, super heavy duty. Also we roll these in-house here at the factory to the specific shape that we want and that also adds a lot of strength to the frame. Then we go onto our four alloy rolled cross members. We roll these again in house for a nice low boat fit up. So what we want is to get it nice and low and that helps us keep the height restrictions down if you've got a tight space to fit the boat and trailer into. Also a bit more manageable when you want to get up into the boat. So we'll come around the back here guys and as you'll see the We've got here the hard poly keel rollers. So these are specifically designed for an aluminium boat keel, less susceptible to abrasions, nicks and cuts, which does happen with an alloy keel because they are quite sharp in areas. So we've got the hard poly keel rollers and then you'll see the big difference on this trailer compared to the smaller ones is what we call the easy loader here. So you'll see the, the V shape or the easy loader here. And what that does is when you come in to drive on and if you are in a windy condition of the boat ramp and the boat's going off to one side and you're trying to stay square, if you come in and you are offline, this will guide you back into the center and then that'll allow you to drive up nice and square. And again, when you come up further, we have the flipper guides here. And what they do is really the same thing as well. If you come offline up further, they'll guide you back into the center and allow you to drive up so you don't have to winch the boat up. Um, a lot easier, quicker, and safer. Um, also here we've got the long skids, the long um, poly skids here. So these are suited for boats under six meters. They spread the surface area a lot more than a, a roller would. So if you have a light gauge aluminum boat, you want a long skid setup, not a roller, because that can actually damage the bottom of the hull. So you'll find these on anything under, anything up to six meters on our boats. At the back of the trailer here, also what we have is the submersible LED lights. So these are designed to go in the water. They're fully sealed. Don't worry about backing it in and submerging them. That's what they're designed to do. So fully sealed. Um, also dedicated tie down point on the back here. We've got a couple little holes here for tie down points. Tie down points in front of the uh, in front of the wheel and behind the wheel as well. So here we have um, a standard feature on all the alloy trailers is a 13 inch sports alloy wheel. In behind this cap here we've got uh, greasable bearing buddies for extended wheel bearing life and allows you to do your own servicing at home. Um, also at the front here we've got submersible LED clearance lights again fully sealed units. So we'll come up here guys and we'll run through the other standard features on this trailer. So we've got your Tellwater 5 to 1 winch with your webbing strap for safety, for added safety there. Um, also standard on this trailer we've got a swing up jockey wheel. So nice and easy to get it on the back of your, um, on your back of your car on the tow ball, just wind it up, line it up with the tow ball, drop it down. Once you get it down and the weight off it, you pull the lever and it clips up horizontal and out of the way. Uh, and also you've got, with the brakes on this trailer, you've got a handbrake there for storage. So we'll talk, some, we'll talk now about the options available, the factory options on these trailers. We've got this one here has been optioned up with a spare wheel carrier for the customer. Good option for long distance traveling. Uh, if you're going away on a trip, it's a good thing to have, a bit of peace of mind if you do get a flat. Uh, we can also option these up with a steel walkway if you're not that confident in driving the trailer, uh, driving the boat onto the trailer. So you can, it attaches to the front here and bolts through the cross members and that allow you to, use to walk down, winch it on um, and then uh, hook the strap on and then winch it up. Okay, so it's a bit easier if you're not that confident in driving on. Uh, the other option we have available, I don't have one here to show you, is the swing away drawbar which attaches to the front here so it actually pivots to the side and is handy for if you have a tight space in your garage it'll save you, uh, it was 580 millimetres of additional length so you'll save that space there if you're tight for room. Now that's about all the options on these trailers. Uh, the differences between the 1100 and the 1298 is the 1298 is slightly longer. It holds boats from 4.9 to 5.3 meters. It has a higher ATM to carry that load. It's got a 1298 kilo, so it can he carry a slightly heavier boat than the 1100. So again, the 1100, 4.5 to 4.9 meter boats. The larger 1298 is 4.9 meters to 5.3 meters. 
Uh, that's about it on, on these trailers here, but if you are looking for a premium trailer for your Quintrex boat, new or old, you really can't go past these Alloy Series trailers. Um, any more info, jump on our website or check out your local dealer. Thanks for watching, guys.